guys. My name is Christopher. My mom name is Good, and I'm a van. Uh, I'm 17 years old. I'm gonna be making videos about becoming a shaman uh, at a young age in modern society. In 2011, I was struck with a severe sinus infection called sinusitis. I was hospitalized for three days, and from then on, the doctors told me that I would have, I'll be more prone to sinus infections in the future. Then, uh, my junior year, I was playing football with my friends, and I got a little injury on my knee. I tore the meniscus, my lateral meniscus, and uh, I was then I was scheduled for some surgery. Uh, but the ske scheduling didn't go to plan because we I was struggled with another sinus infection. So then I was given antibiotics. Uh, didn't really work at first. Painkillers didn't work either. Uh, but we that eventually went away. So then we rescheduled for this uh, surgery. And then when I was struck with the sinus infection, uh, we went to go see my. Uh, I I have been having these noises in my ear, uh, high pitch and also uh, drum like noises. Uh, so then we went to go see. We went to go see a shaman, an old shaman. Uh, did some cocoon on my knee and uh, it uh, gradually it got better uh, when I tore my, my when I first tore my meniscus uh, the doctors told me that it couldn't get better it, I would have to get surgery to get better otherwise I'd be on crutches my whole life so I I was pretty much okay set on surgery I'm gonna get the surgery uh, but then you know the shaman he did cocoon on it and then it gradually got better and then uh, during spring break I could actually walk get up and walk around all that so then he performed what was called Yatoje and he, uh, he I took off my shirt uh, he tied a string on it he dipped it into a bowl and um, he started asking questions and then uh, he found out that I was a shaman, um, so I was I was pretty excited about becoming a shaman. Uh, and then my joint ache started for no reason. I was at home. I don't know why, but the joint ache just started all of a sudden. Uh, I couldn't move. I couldn't walk. Uh, I couldn't do anything. My arm, both my arms, were useless. My wrists hurt. My elbows hurt. My shoulders hurt. My ankles hurt. Uh, I couldn't carry my backpack. I couldn't get up on my feet to walk. Uh, the, uh, the ear ear pain uh, and the ear noises were still going on. A lot. Of, we've been going to the clinic for checkups. They've been drawing blood, urine tests, all that. They said that I had I had some parvovirus. Parvovirus. Uh, they said I had parvovirus, and that was what was causing my joint aches. Uh, they said that it should have gone away. It should be. A, it should go away within a week or so. So I waited a week. Um, it still persisted. I am a junior. Uh, I go to Central High School. I, I used to go to Central High School. I'm no longer in school anymore because of due to my illnesses. Uh, I've been dropped as a student, and um, it wasn't the greatest feeling. Uh, I felt really disappointed in myself. I felt as if I was a disappointment to others, my mom especially. Um, I don't know, but I knew that I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, this was something that I that had to happen. It, didn't I couldn't I didn't have any control over it so um, right now I'm just at home I'm signing up for an online program to make up credits and we've been planning for this ceremony for about a month now or half a month uh, we've been going to see the uh, going to the clinic uh, getting checkups um, everything but you know can't be helped I've missed too much school due to my symptoms and now I'm no longer a Central High School student. When I 
first heard that I was going to become a shaman, I was I was extremely excited. Um, I thought, you know, what an honor. Uh, what would I see? Uh, what would I experience? Uh, what I would go through? But I never imagined that I'd be in this much pain uh, with the joint aches, my stomach pain, ear noises, um, all that stuff. Uh, so, but uh, added on to the excitement, I was really nervous as well. I, me, uh, I was born in America. Uh, I don't know m much about uh, my culture, my religion, my community. So uh, I thought that you know it was I was I'm just gonna have to step up my game. I'm gonna have to learn a lot of things, not just uh, shaman wise, but religion wise. So I also noticed that my Hmong is not that great either. So I'm gonna have to learn real. I'm gonna have to learn my my language, and I'm gonna have to uh, learn the shaman language, I guess. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of learning, but I'm excited, I'm pumped, and um, can't wait. But then, you know, there's also this this side of it where you get really sick, you get really ill, uh, you get hit with a lot of random pain, I guess, random illnesses. Uh, you can't really do anything about that. All right, so it's late, guys. It's 12:30 right now. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, uh, I'm gonna have a doctor's appointment to check up on my joints, and then later on that day, at 4 o'clock, we're gonna have a ceremony. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, th these series are just gonna be vlogs about me and my journey uh, to becoming a shaman. Uh, let, let me know what's on, what's on your mind. Uh, if you have any questions, message me or follow me on, on Twitter or add me on Facebook. Links in the description below. Like, comment, favorite if you want. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. This is just going to be uh, videos about me talking about my journey. If you're interested, uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.